Word 4 says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues and the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. So one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is called gift of tongues. That is an unknown language. We will speak unknown language. Uh, and there is also another gift of tongue. He says speaking in tongues, praying in tongues, and interpretation of tongues. But now I want to bring to you what Peter said in verse 17. It will come to pass in the last days, God says, that I will pour out a portion of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see vision. Your old men shall dream dreams. Indeed, upon my servants and my handmaids, I will pour out a portion of my spirit in those days, and they shall prophesy, prophesy. So gift of prophecy, gift of vision. So the day of Pentecost, it is a fulfilling of the prophecy of prophet Joel. In the book of Joel, the prophecy of Joel, Saint Peter is speaking. When some people criticize them, what is this? They are drunk. <laughs> because the way they are speaking strange languages, strange languages. So Peter stood up and said, No, this is what was spoken through Prophet Joel. Everybody, can you repeat this? That is Acts of Apostle, chapter 2, verse 17. Acts of Apostle, chapter 2, verse 17. Everybody, come on loud. It will come to pass in the last days. Louder. It will come to pass in the last days. God says that I will pour out a portion of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. So, is this applicable to all of you? Is this already applicable to all of you? Yes or no? So, believe this. This prophecy, according to this prophecy, the Spirit will come upon all flesh, all flesh, every human being. I was born and brought up in a very good Catholic family. We were ten children. My parents used to bring them every day for Holy Mass like a minor seminary. <laughs> and evening we had about 45 minutes prayer. But nobody ever told me that I have the charisms. Nobody ever told me that it is a call for every person to evangelize. Only at the age of 40 I realized this. And I started seeing visions, I started seeing, I started giving prophecy, I started speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues, so many charisms started 
spiritual gifts started working in me when i was uh, leading a prayer meeting a prayer and suddenly i saw a vision a vision that is a heart in that heart there was a small hole blood was coming out then i saw a finger is touching that hole and that was healed then the lord said in this group somebody who has a hole in the heart i am healing that <laughs> oh my god then i thought you say this i said i say this and if it is not happened <laughs> i started having many doubt but that vision i kept on seeing this vision and the lord said now you announce i am already doing it so i announce there is someone here in this group having a sickness a hole in the heart and the lord is healing now suddenly a woman exact from the last bench raised her hands and she screamed oh that is me mera hai oh doubt kya gaya and she was crying loudly she was a very poor lady she had this sickness but she had no way for a going to hospital because it cost so much of money to have a heart operation so because of their no money she was not going but now god has done great miracles and healed so jesus the holy spirit worked together because jesus according to matthew's gospel when jesus sent the apostles for evangelization he matthew chapter 10 7 everybody can you please open matthew chapter 10 matthew chapter 10 10 seven says jesus says as you go make this proclamation the kingdom of heaven is at hand now everybody must repeat after me come on everybody ready raise your one hand and proclaim cure the sick cure the sick raise the dead cleanse the leper drive out demons cure the sick cure the sick raise the dead cleanse the leper drive out demons one day in i was in mumbai normally i used to go for holy mass early morning but that day because of some reason i could not go for the morning mass so i went to the evening mass as i went to the evening mass as i was in the church i saw a vision of an evil spirit around me and then i asked the lord what is happening and the lord spoke to me he said that evil spirit is in the person sitting near to you it is i who brought him to you to be delivered from the evil spirit oh lord so what should i do so the holy spirit told me you pray and diffuse the spirit that is i said in the name of jesus this evil spirit be diffused that its action is nullified i prayed but then i started seeing another vision the lord is showing in the vision 
This evil spirit is in the form of a copper plate tied at the waist under his underwear. <laughs> Inside his underwear at his waist there is a thread. On that thread there is a copper plate. He looks a very, very gentle man, tip-top dressed. I said, oh my God, how can I tell this to him? But I know, I know the Lord has shown me is true. I have the feeling in my body about this spirit. I said, now what should I do? He said, now you participate in the Holy Mass after that you have to deal with this. Okay. So I told the Holy Spirit, Oh, Holy Spirit, help me. I don't know anything about this. I don't know how to do it. You have to guide me. Yes, I will guide you. First of all, I will not tell him this unless he asks me a help. <laughs> okay. So, after the Holy Mass, all the people went away from the church. I am sitting and praying and this man is still there. He has not gone. Then I am looking to him. So he is also trying to talk to me. So from, from kneeling down, I sat on the bench. Now he said, are you brother Thomas Paul? I said, yes. And he began to cry. He said, oh, I don't want to leave. I want to die. I want to commit suicide. I don't want to leave. Something like this. Yes, yes, dear brother, I know your problem. You feel like commit suicide because you have gone to an evil witchcraft and you went to him and you got a Tabish, you got something from a witchcraft and tied on your waist. That is why you have this feeling. Hey, who told you this? I have not told to anybody. Ah, that is why God knows you. It is the Lord told me this. Now, do you believe in the Lord? That he spoke to me, he showed me this vision that you have on a thread, a copper plate tied on your waist. I have already neutralized it. And the Lord, Holy Spirit brought you near to me to pray for you, to deliver you from this. So that is why God gives the gift, particularly for the priests, and also religious, when we are working in the villages, you will come across with so many people with the different types of evil worships and evil activities. People are in the captivity of the evil. So God will help us to see what is the evil they have and how to deliver it. So I prayed for him. I led him to repentance. I told him, you must go for a confession. But now, <laughs> you come with me to the sacristy. I will remove your trouser and cut open these things and throw it out. So he was hesitant. He said, I paid so much money for this. And that man said, it should not be removed. I said, that man and the money and all this is an evil work. That is why you feel like committing suicide. If you don't remove this, you may even suicide. So the Holy Spirit brought you near to me. I would have natural every day gone for early mass. Holy Mass in the morning, but God guided me not to go for the morning Mass, to come in the evening Mass to meet Him, 
and to help him. So finally, he came with me to the sacristy, and I helped him to cut it out and throw it out, and he became free. So the Lord has given us these gifts. When we receive a training, when you receive the power of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will speak to you, show you like this. And Holy Spirit will help you how to help the people in the villages or in the contact wherever you are working. Once it so happened, it was in somewhere in indoor in a convention. The lady she has brought a man who has some wild manifestation. He scream and do so many bad things. So when I prayed for him, I found in a vision inside his muscles, inside the muscles, something is inserted. Some copper plate is inserted and stitched. Nobody can see that. Such evil things are happening around us. So, first of all, I, I cannot operate and remove it, but we can pray and diffuse the evil power. So we must understand, first of all, who is evil. Evil is only a creature. In paragraph 395 in the Catechism says, Nevertheless, the power of Satan is nonetheless not infinite. He is only a creature. So we must understand, God is almighty creator. Whereas, God did not create evil, but God created angels. Angels are God's creation. But the angels disobeyed God and became fallen angels. That is how the Satan came to be. So Satan or evil is existing, but they are fallen angels. They are creatures. God is almighty. So the one who is in us is greater than all evil. So we don't have to be afraid of evil, but we have to be prudent. We have to be, we have to be prudent. The evil can create a lot of problems to us if we are not in proper prayer. So, one day, a, in a German situation, one man came and said, Thomas Paul, my nephew has so many questions. I cannot answer. He says, he says, I had very good faith earlier, but now my faith has gone because of the problems in the church because of the Catholic Church is saying that, 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 and so many false thinking he has. Can you argue with him? I said, yes, you bring him. He can argue with me. I can answer all arguments because I have the teaching of the church with me. And he came and he began to speak like this. So I said, my dear friend, first of all, how do you know you had good faith? You say now your faith is lost. The faith, if you had, was rooted in the strong teaching. It cannot go away. So I told him, shall I test you? Shall I test you or faith? <laughs> He said, how can you test my faith? Yeah, yeah, I will ask you some questions. 
if you answer it you have good faith if you don't answer it then you know the faith is weak don't be afraid it is good we should know what is the intensity of our faith so that we can grow <sighs> okay ready yes ready <laughs> then i asked the first question the first question i asked what is the difference between evil spirit and holy spirit he, he said he, it may be same because both are spirit that was his answer then he began to say oh no 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 even evil spirit came to jesus and tempted him so evil spirit may be stronger than jesus again so like this so many things he said i said sorry you have not passed then i told him evil spirit are creatures god spirit is creator that is the difference a next question i said what is the meaning of grace grace what is the definition of grace so he did not know what is grace should i ask you what is grace can you say the definition of grace okay i will not ask you now <laughs> because if you don't answer i will be very sad for me <laughs> there another question what was another question anyway i asked another two question none of them you could answer see now where is your faith so he knelt down and said sorry 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 please pray for me <laughs> so we must examine our faith we must examine our faith evangelization is possible now now this glass is almost full from this we can give to others suppose only this much is in this glass then what can we give so another aspect of evangelization is we must have strong faith and also strong conviction about the teaching teaching of the church catholic teaching so i strongly recommend i have already told you all of you must have a personal copy of catechism of catholic church bible i hope you have it you must pray either your superiors will give or somebody else will give you if you pray <laughs> holy spirit will make it possible and in that you can draw you can write in the margin in the free time you can come and look in my book here then you can understand how much i am working with this book i have lot of underlining etc so our faith must be strong then only we can help others okay now my point is about the gift of the holy spirit particularly vision 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 these gifts are very simple gifts but you need a interpretation of these gifts now within few minutes i am going to pray for you for the gift of vision and the interpretation of vision i tell you some funny examples 
once a sister and uh, in the group like we had in the group one sister and another person was praying together so this sister was a novice mistress but she never wanted to be in that post she she did not like to be a novice mistress so she kept on telling her superiors please please don't take away please take away this i don't want anyway during that exercise the another person saw when she prayed for the sister she saw a hen a hen with nine chicks nine chicks and one was black so then she realized oh that is i have nine novices and one is from one is from nigeria <laughs> the black one <laughs> and that means the lord want you to be a novice mistress a hen with the nine chicks that made her such a conviction the working of the holy spirit another thing was a very funny example again sister sorry sisters uh, <laughs> another sister was in the group so one girl prayed for her and she got a word potato 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 alu so she said no 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 i don't know i see something wrong i am getting a very uh, a word which is not spiritual but what is it potato potato and then the sister said no 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 that is very correct that is correct i said uh, what happened sister said when i came for this one week seminar i brought i brought a big gunny bag full of potatoes so that the kitchen girl will have some work to plant these potatoes but i forgot to tell her that is in the kitchen <laughs> so she bought these potatoes but she forgot to tell the kitchen girl she must do this in the absence of her she forgot so after coming here she keep on thinking about that potato 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 so holy spirit is revealing here now stop thinking of potato come on you be here <laughs> holy spirit reveals to us the intentions and the things of others heart others heart jesus came to that samaritan woman we know the story eventually jesus said call your husband and she said i have no husband oh that is right what you said you have no husband you had five husbands and the one who is now is not your husband hey why she you are a prophet now that made her complete different conviction about this person she first told her him you are a jew i am a samaritan i will not even give you a glass of water go away but now she said i see you are a prophet and later on all what has happened and she went to the town and started telling come and see a man who spoke all about my life that testimony brought all the people from samaria to jesus so when we pray for somebody 
Holy Spirit can give a vision about that somebody and then that person's faith will faith and we can help that person I remember now in one of the prayer session at the end of the session a woman came and said Thomas Paul I, I, I am suffering with asthma now when I came here I started having more uh, breathing problem I said okay we will pray for that when I was praying I saw a snake in a vision a snake a big snake so whenever we see such symbols we should not immediately take any thinking you must ask the Holy Spirit what can be this so I asked the Holy Spirit then the Holy Spirit told me she saw a snake and frightened terribly frightened that is the reason of her asthma so I asked her have you seen a snake and frightened oh no oh. then I asked the Holy Spirit can you tell Holy Spirit around what age yes it was at the time when she was 10 years old so I asked her what is your age now 35 years so 25 years back it happened so I told him when you were about 10 years old maybe when you were studying in 6th standard or 5th standard happened to see a snake and frightened she started having the same frightening yes I was coming after my school with my cousin sister a snake a big snake bite my cousin sister she died on the spot and I was running <laughs> there this asthma began so at that time she was actually having the same same thing coming back <laughs> now I prayed for her and she was healed she was healed so many people have different problems even as brothers or sisters we also have so many childhood problems but when we pray to Holy Spirit Holy Spirit can reveal to us the root cause of the problem root cause of the problem and then only our formation will become very good Holy Spirit is the best formator Holy Spirit can help you to find the root cause of some of our complexes some people have terrible inferiority complex all this inferiority complex can be healed I remember now one boy he is of course he is uh, he's not a seminarian but yeah he is he, he, he cannot he has such a fear to stand up and read something in public so when I prayed for him I saw that sometime when he was reading first time so he made a mistake and everybody in the classroom made a fun about him so after that he got a phobia he got a he got a negative feeling about and there never he stand up and read so when I prayed for that then he was free so now I have so many such examples so many such examples so let us now make a short prayer let us let us desire for it
Do you want this charism to operate? Do you want? Do you want? Brothers, do you want? Yes. We are only beginning. We have to practice this. It is like learning cycling. <laughs> when we learn cycling, we will fall down, then slowly, slowly we become good. My experience is at this age, at this your age, all these charisms are more strongly working. So that is mainly because you have already called by God. You have called and the Lord has already given you all these charisms. <laughs> in one of the major seminary in North India, I was preaching. So, normally in the seminaries, we don't have a syllabus about the charisms. But whereas, whether seminary or formation house, we are, we are called for a training for evangelization. When we are to be trained for evangelization, how can we evangelize without the charisms? Without the charisms. Now, I will also be available tomorrow anytime during the break times. You can come to me. I can pray for you. I can find out whatever hidden problems you have. The Holy Spirit will show me in a vision or will speak to me and I can pray for you. Tomorrow, during all the break times, I shall wait here itself and we can, one by one, those who want to meet me can come. So when you go for house visit, when you go for helping houses or people or in the parishes or catechism, uh, catechism school or something, any place these gifts can work. These gifts can work. And that will help you for more confidence. And that will also help others to come out from their difficulties. And that will evangelize, evangelize. Now, in Acts of Apostle, so many places. Now, Acts of Apostle, these days we were reading, we were reading Acts of Apostle chapter 13. Acts of Apostle chapter 13, 1 and 2 says, chapter 2, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Holy Spirit said, Holy Spirit spoke. And that was a turning point in the life of Paul and Barnabas. So they were sent immediately to Iconium and Antioch. And we can also see in Acts of Apostles chapter 8, chapter 8 that Philip was praying early morning suddenly Holy Spirit told him go get up get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza the desert immediately Philip got up and went to that road and there was a chariot coming and the Holy Spirit told him, go near to the chariot. He went near to the chariot. Then he heard someone is reading the prophecy of Isaiah from the chariot without understanding anything. So he jumped into the chariot and asked, do you understand what you are reading? Oh, how can I understand unless somebody interprets? Now imagine this man, the Ethiopian eunuch, coming from Jerusalem and 
Holy Spirit moved Philip from his home to reach to his chariot to interpret the scripture. This is how Holy Spirit works. And we know in chapter 10, Holy Spirit spoke to a man called Cornelius. Cornelius was a Gentile. Holy Spirit said, go send a word to Simon Peter. Call him to your house. Simon Peter is not supposed to go into a Gentile's house. He's a Jew. And Simon Peter at that time was seeing a vision. He was seeing a vision that some animals have been given in a plate. And the voice said, get up and eat them. And Simon Peter said, no, 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 I will never eat such an animal unholy things but then the voice said don't say word 15 voice spoke to him again a second time what God has made clean you are not to call profile this happened three times by the time he heard a voice hi hello is it the house Simon Peter staying here he says, we have come from Cornelius searching Simon Peter. Yes, wait a moment, I come down. And Simon Peter went down. Then the Holy Spirit said, go with them to the house of Cornelius and preach them. See, because of this vision of Peter, he understood God want to open the salvation not only to the Jews but to all Gentiles and Simon Peter went to the house of Cornelius and started preaching in 1044 says while Peter was still speaking these things the Holy Spirit fell upon who were listening to the word Holy Spirit fell upon those people who are not even baptized. So Holy Spirit is working even non-Christians, non-baptized people like Cornelius. <laughs> okay, now let us pray. Shall we stand up? Shall we stand up? Let us stand up and desire. Let us be thirsty. Let us be thirsty. Oh, Holy Spirit, pray directly. Holy Spirit, come on everybody. Holy Spirit, oh, Holy Spirit, I surrender my thinking, my mind. Holy Spirit, open the gifts of vision. Open the charism of vision. Oh, Holy Spirit, Open the charisms of vision and interpretation of vision so that I may use it for evangelization. Oh, Holy Spirit, give me the gift of revelation. Give me the gift of revelation. Oh, Holy Spirit, give me the gift of revelation. Now everybody keep praising, praise you Jesus, thank you Lord, hallelujah, keep a praise and worship, hallelujah, 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 oh Holy Spirit, oh Holy Spirit, open the gift of revelation, open the gift of revelation, open the gift of revelation. Shall I have a bell, 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 a
you should now choose another leader for this group and then like last time when we prayed over one person now you have to be very careful when you pray for one person all of you who are praying should ask the holy spirit holy spirit give me a vision about this person give me a word of knowledge it may not come through a vision it can come as an inspiration it can come a word of god can come into your mind or simply a voice fear fear something like that or a voice speaking about this person either vision or a word of god or a word or you may feel a pain suppose you feel when you are praying for one person you feel pain on your back or pain on your knee that is a sign this person has such a pain so you ask that person do you have a pain on your back ah yeah yeah yes okay then you pray for the healing so immediately it will be healed the holy spirit will reveal some pain or some sadness sorrow or bitterness painful sad memories so somebody may feel when you pray very pain in the heart then you ask him do you have pain you have some pain in your heart you have some sorrow and that person should share it so it is little time taking but this is how so now you are seven in your group when one on one person six of you pray six messages you will get and you will you will see most of the messages are matching 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 that a person is getting one message and the other person will get a matching of that message so that you know it is surely the holy spirit is revealing okay are you ready okay now you move to the group i will be and our whole group is praying for you and you see how the holy spirit is now going to work okay god bless you start go into the same place go into the same group and ex- do this exercise so this is really the workshop okay stop <laughs> 